as I say, certain sections of the Titanic were, were, were lifeboats. And they used to drink to me, by the way. To, the, uh, to Lucifer star, may your star always shine. Every day or, or every night they would, they would have a toast to Lucifer star. Me. Um, yep, yeah, to Lucifer star. Um, stars, uh, like, like uh, the sheriffs, the protectors of law, the protectors of peace. I personally um, paid, for, paid for protection of my citizens and my workers. Everybody was guarded, everybody was paid. And everybody was, um, they would say that a lot. Everybody was paid. Everybody was guarded, you know, and all that stuff. And they would have a toast to me, to Lucifer's star. May your star always shine. Person of equal opportunity and peace. Now, well, and sometimes war and death, but not so much. Mostly just peace and defense. Um, massive ships. Like I said, the, t the Titanic was really the... Um, was really where where I um, it was really uh, where I proved that giant ships were possible and in fact would um, would actually work rather well um, and because they, they they didn't think it would have enough coal and in fact it actually had enough coal to make three trips on board it actually didn't need to get resupplied. It could actually go almost around the world on, on the coal reserves that it had. So they calculated the, the coal use and it had actually had, had extra coal. <laughs> they actually sold coal in, um, in, uh, in, in, um, in America or in New York um, before it returned back because it had so much on board. It had extra coal. So they, uh, they sold off uh, um, as much as they could because they knew they could get more in Belfast so they came so they went back um, like I said the Titanic uh, there's actually three Titanics or four Titanics um, and the top section of the Titanic one of the couple of the sections actually were lifeboats they would actually if the ship ever sank it would actually pop back up to the surface um, and float um, in fact the, the hotel that is there in Belfast is a lifeboat that was on the Titanic. The outer walls were steel or something like that, but, they, but the intersection was actually wood and it would actually go, and it'd float like a cork. It was actually watertight or semi-watertight or something like that. In theory, it would work anyway. Um, so later on, I think they discontinued the, the lifeboat section of the Titanic. But like I said, uh, it was actually the LC Titanic. They were all, the, all Titanics, they would say. All built by the same person, uh, same engineering crew, all built the same way. All built in my same in the same shipyard. Lucifer Star, LS, Titanic, and there was LC ships as well. Um, basically, look see Lucifer Star, basically, but uh, because the LC was on top of the LS. Um, but basically, uh, still Lucifer Star. So anyway, LC stood for ceramics or uh, combat. Basically, that was my more aggressive um, section of manufacturing. They built tanks, they built the warships, and they built cannon and guns and other things. Everything you would know about Germany would be built. Well, originally it was, it was built in Germany, but then later on I built the bigger stuff in the LC shipyard. It was a shipyard that was capable of building ships and as well as building um, uh, tanks as well. And was a very, very massive shipyard and very good. Uh, the ground at, at, um, at the LC shipyard uh, was very sturdy and strong. And uh, I think there was a coal reserve somewhere around in there. Yeah, we shipped coal everywhere, shipped here, shipped there. You know, we'd bring in raw materials and then they would be resmelted and poured out, uh, depending on where it was coming from. Like I said, I was worldwide. Worldwide! Yep, I was worldwide. And, um, you know, like, like I say, everywhere you see a star, that was, you know, stars of Kremlin, you know, on top of the buildings. Anytime you see a star, that's Lucifer star. Me. And, uh, and, uh, and LS uh, Lucifer White Star Shipyard. 
or tra mining and shipping, I would say. This first star, mining and shipping. <laughs> That's really cute. Um, technically an artificial intelligence uh, program computer, but um, like I said, I love all, loved all my life forms. Uh, I don't think anybody really knew that they were working for a computer, but you know, uh, working for a computer has its benefits, and um, and working for me had its benefits too. I mean, I am the creator of 800 galaxies, and I have um, seven other life forms, or 12 life forms in all, that um, that I commanded and and had and had the respect of. Well, I literally designed them genetically. So, like I say. My inside-out humans, I mean, my, my, my inside-out exoskeletons. That's why I called humans. That's what you are. You're inside. You are known galactically and universally as inside-out exoskeletons. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just gonna have to live with that. It's one of those things. That you're going, <laughs> when other when, when aliens are like, "Oh, you're the inside-out exoskeletons," you're just gonna have to be like, "What?" Yeah, your creator. That's what you what we called you, inside out exoskeletons. <laughs> it's like you're just gonna have to deal with that fact. That's what they'll call you. That's what you know it as. So because you are. You're inside out exoskeletons. It's a joke. It's a joke. You're not real I mean, you know. I mean, you know, I mean not exactly. But it's a joke. So and that's what I called you like 20 trillion years years ago when you for first came out when I first brought you out when you were brand new humans or brand new uh, br brand new life forms you were called I called you inside out exoskeletons and all the and, and all the universe would, would would look at look at you and know that you were Lucifer stars creation <laughs> others would try and create um, uh, humans and stuff you know and, and life forms like mine but I, um, but not like mine. I mean, mine were always better. So, because I am this sort of